if there's any manager that they're going to back of all the managers that they've they've had over the years, I'm going to come to you first, Bobby, then I want Steven's take as well. Surely it has to be Antonio Conte because of what he's recently achieved based on the fact that there's already been improvement in this side. They look more revitalized than they ever did under Nuno Espirito Santo and before that, Jose Mourinho. And you would argue that the managers they got before, was Mourinho past his sell-by date? You could possibly say yes. Was no. Nuno Espirito no. Santo... No. Mourinho, they should have kept. Yeah. They should have kept Mourinho, him. Mourinho, they should have kept. Really? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, for me. I, listen, he's a genius. I absolutely love the man. I love the character and I miss him in the Premier League. Um, but is I he the same? I just think it was a matter of time. Is he still the same winning manager that we knew when you were playing? Where, well, he won the title with Chelsea, of course, and then he did it again when he came back and all of that. He is. For, for me, he is, yeah. I mean, uh, the Rome derby today, you know, fantastic uh, Huge game. They play Thursday night and they're in there and smashing smashing goals left, right and centre. I love Mourinho. I won't have a bad word said about him. So, yeah, um, yeah listen, I, I, I think they should have stuck with him. Um, I just think the dressing room, the changing room um, at that time was 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 not the right place. There were too many characters in there that, that were probably uh, a little bit too big for their boots, I think, um, and, and didn't like the way that he worked. But um, but clearing those out, and they, I think you know a couple of those have, have gone now. And um, yeah, they're, they're the club are in, themselves, the players, the changing room seems like a better place. But I think that would have happened with Mourinho. So before we get to you, Stephen, Bob, I just want to double check. They should have kept Mourinho. Do you think he would be doing a better job than Conte is doing now? Uh, given another full a full season, yeah, I think he would. I think he'd be doing a great job. I really do. I think his recruitment in the summer would have been spot on. I think he would have cleared out the the, the guys that that have gone. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm always going to stick with Mourinho for me. I, I, I genuinely am. He, Listen, Man United, Man United didn't like exactly what they saw then, did they? But what have they won since? True. Exactly. And he mm. did reach a cup final with Spurs, although he didn't get to manage in said cup final because he was let yeah. go uh, just before. What do you think, Stephen? Should they have, uh, have I, kept, step, kept with him? I'm, I'm, I'm a huge Mourinho fan as well and every player I know that's played on him absolutely adores him like I, you speak with, Bobby knows JT I know Damien Duff like these guys literally will sing his praises to the, you know, all day long and I just at Tottenham as well I felt it was another thing whereas like you look at Harry Kane on the Mourinho and he was absolutely sensational so much sensational and then his form completely dropped when they changed managers um, and that was just the making of, of what it was. You know, would he be doing what Conte is? Probably if he was given the kitty and the, you know, the kind of carte blanche to go and bring in the players he wanted. But that was never going to happen at Spurs. And there was always going to be that kind of uh, difficulty. And with Mourinho as well, because so many people had gone off of my United, but that was more to do with what was happening at United. There was so much going on in the back end there. There's so much, you know, you look at the club now, that hasn't changed. They're still in such difficult times and the off-goings off the pitch, off the field incidents, that, that tarnished Mourinho. And it wasn't really down to him, the whole thing. The club is, that club is still the same. And they went into Spurs with this kind of, you know, black mark against him because of that. And it was kind of unfair. So he was dismissed. And for me, I, I, I wanted him to stay on. I would be happy to keep him. I loved him. But I think Conte's in there now and he's a man you have to back. You have to get behind. You don't want to have the same feeling of regret that you've not backed a manager that can go and win you something or get the best out of your players. And they have to get behind them. Final question on the Mourinho topic. Bobby, we were talking at half time about accountability and players not showing accountability from themselves or insisting on accountability from other players. This was in relation to the goal which Spurs conceded not too long before the break. With Mourinho there, though, can it still be that way? Because at times he, he can be very scathing when he's on camera. I, I, I wouldn't even fathom to guess what he's saying behind the scenes to players, young players uh, as well. Yeah, but I, I, me personally, the way I am, yes. I want to be dug out. I want to be told if I've made a mistake because, yeah, that's the only way you're going to learn. Listen, like, like I mentioned before, if I'm, if I'm marking someone and they score, I know it's me. And I, I tell you, the next set piece that comes along, I am grabbing that player. I am. There's no way that he's scoring. I'm not getting two goals, two marks, two lots of eyeballs staring at me, you know, the whole stadium and the manager at the end of the game digging me out because it's my mistake twice. So, uh, yeah, I want accountability. I want that. I like that. And I think Mourinho certainly, you know, he just lays it on the table, uh, like lays his cards out. Listen, you do this, 
and you'll win. You do this and you'll win. And, 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 and that's the way I like it, black and white, very straightforward, do your job, um, trust in me, trust in my system, uh, and I'll get your results, I'll win your trophies. And that's how he has been his, all, all his career. Stephen, I mean, the way Mourinho can be, yeah. can just put people down with a single phrase, it, it, it's quite astounding at times. I think I think Conte is capable of doing that as well. Conte is yeah. the manager that doesn't pull his punches. He, and you know, like, like I said, it's something that I suppose their generation, not the generation was not that long ago, but like you think of us, Bobby, with Fulham and Roy, we'd go into the team meeting on a Monday and literally it was the digging out session to anybody that did anything wrong. It was like a point in the finger, everything went wrong. And you had to take it on the chin and deal with it or else crumble and then don't play. And that, that that's how you got on with it. That's how you learned. And you learned by your peers thinking, oh, you should have done better for me here. You should have helped me. Or the manager literally highlighting you and pointing it out. And that was the way you had to get on with it. And these Mourinho's are almost taught to be old school in their way, but it's a way players develop and get stronger, get their mentality. And the top players at Spurs will take that on board, take on the chin and move forward and deal with it because they know they're under a manager that will that if they do what they say, they'll get wins, they'll get results, and they'll probably get some silverware. Um, and that's the difference between the top top players and the players that that will never kind of make it to the top. But it's um yeah for me, I think Conte is very similar mannerisms, the way he goes about himself, his determination. He's up and down the sideline. He's emotional. He'll just say how it is, and they they need to the managers like that need to get respect 